The UFC is home to fighters with a wide variety of personalities, but it's no secret that the fights that sell often involve fighters that use their cockiness to create memorable moments. Let's be honest, there are a couple of fighters out there that try a little too hard and miss the mark, or just end up coming off a little cringe. But newcomers and legends alike are not immune to when confidence turns into something a little more than that, and sometimes they pay the price for it. Welcome to Sports Kita MMA, where we will explore the top 10 cockiest UFC fighters. Number 10, Sean O'Malley. The Sugar Show always passes the fit check, and with this style, he brings a confident personality that matches his finishing ability. Every time O'Malley is on the mic, he makes sure to let fans know that he is more than ready for elite competition. Enter Marlon Chito Vera. This bout was supposed to be O'Malley's breakthrough moment, a means to finally be among ranked bantamweights. The Sugar Show acknowledged Chito's toughness, but saw him as one-dimensional and predicted an easy knockout. O'Malley was so sure of himself, he compared his career potential to Conor McGregor. While a UFC promo predicted he would be as massive as other superstar athletes, the fight would set up to be a washout. Despite O'Malley dictating the pace early at UFC 252, Vera put all those dreams to rest with one hard kick behind the knee, shutting off O'Malley's leg, eventually finishing him with ground and pound. Sean O'Malley could never accept that loss, and to this day, calls himself undefeated. Turns out the Sugar Show was put on hiatus for some Ecuadorian programming. Number 9. Joanna Jędrzejczyk The former strawweight queen Joanna Jędrzejczyk once dominated the division with her excellent Muay Thai repertoire, along with some intense mental warfare. Joanna knew how to spew venom and used her confidence as a weapon. In the lead-up to UFC 217, the undefeated Joanna told Rose Namajunas she was going to take her soul. Seemingly nobody in the strawweight division could offer any sort of resistance to her dominant title reign at the time, and Joanna, sold on her own abilities, put it plainly for Thug Rose. I will show you what your problem is. You're never going to be a champion. At UFC 217, Rose Namajunas became a champion by first round TKO. Joanna's cockiness was better than her ability to predict the future. Number 8. Israel Adesanya the last style bender is a fan favorite both inside and outside the octagon. A hundred plus combat sports bouts have culminated Adesanya into one of the most feared UFC champions ever. While fans know him for his elaborate ring walks and signature press conference moments before he puts on virtuoso striking clinics on his opponents, many of you might not have known when he misplaced his confidence against former glory middleweight and light heavyweight champion Alex Perea. According to Poetan, who has first-hand experience with Adesanya's ego, Stylebender has this to say about their upcoming kickboxing rematch. I'll have to beat Perea in his backyard and then run out of the favela. Alex Perea took that personally. At Glory of Hero 7, Poetan's signature left hook put Adesanya to sleep in the rematch. Perea even claims to have seen him crying after the fact. A humbling experience for Adesanya, who has leveled up since then and is set to lap the middleweight division after his upcoming title fight rematch with Robert Whittaker at UFC 271. With Alex Perea in the UFC, do you think we'll see the trilogy fight? Number 7. Jorge Masvidal Game Bread is a people's fighter, an outspoken character always putting everything on the line and using his elite boxing to put on exciting performances. Masvidal is always taken to social media to let the MMA world know who he wants to baptize, but this street Jesus persona only came on recently after his unlikely knockout against Darren Till and his earth-shattering flying knee knockout over Ben Askren. This is when he felt untouchable and used this hype to sell his newly minted identity to fans. After a fruitless title shot against Kamaru Usman, the man he swore he would destroy, he championed for a rematch, and more vitriol ensued. Masvidal promised Usman he would do worse to him than he did to Askren, going as far as saying he would break the bones in the Nigerian nightmare's face like chicken wings. Masvidal needed to back these claims up, even focusing on his wrestling for the rematch. At UFC 261, Kamaru Usman did the unthinkable. He landed a destructive right hand, following by hammer fist to render Gamebred unconscious, ending months of his trash talk. Now Masvidal has his sights set on a new opponent, former interim welterweight champion Colby Covington. Will we see Masvidal overpromise and underdeliver once again at UFC 272? Number 6. Conor McGregor by now, we all know how Conor McGregor changed the landscape of MMA. His larger-than-life personality, opulent choice of clothing, and vicious trash talk is a perfect attraction for fans and companies alike. For a long time, the notorious McGregor used his signature notoriety to completely sell himself to the sport, and this is no insult. He always felt it wasn't enough to slay giants and starch champions. 
He had to give the fans a personal reason to chant his name throughout sold-out arenas, but unfortunately for McGregor, there were moments where it seemed like his harsh words missed the mark. This was no clearer than his third fight against Dustin Poirier at UFC 264. This was a fight in which we saw McGregor go back to his roots by trying to live in Poirier's head rent-free. McGregor pulled out all of his verbal armaments, mentioning Dustin's wife several times. Unfortunately for McGregor, Poirier didn't really take any stock into his words and won most of the trilogy fight before karma came down and snapped McGregor's shin bone in half. To be fair, Mystic Mac did say Poirier would leave on a stretcher, but his psychic abilities picked the wrong fighter. If you love all things UFC and more, please subscribe to Sports Key to MMA and stay tuned for part 2 of the top 10 cockiest UFC fighters.